The global chip crisis of the early 20s ravaged our land. Production lines halted and new cameras stopped being made. Humanity was forced to reach for cameras from years gone by. This is one such camera. The current popularity of the Fuji X100V is hard to overstate. If I could only have one camera in my life, it would be the Fuji X100V. However, the camera is very expensive and currently is out of stock everywhere. You can, however, get the older versions of this camera. The Fuji X100 was announced in 2010 and the images that it produces are incredible. Digital cameras do not go obsolete in the same way that computers do. What's a minimum threshold of image quality is reached? A camera is always going to look good. 12 megapixels still looks good. It's higher resolution than most displays that people are viewing the images on anyway. It baffles me to think that people don't realize that if the image looks good now, it will always look the same in the future. Believe me, I've been there. Even on a 35K screen, the image is still going to be the same image. When cameras had one megapixel, that was not high enough resolution yet. So yeah, those cameras are obsolete. But once you reach a certain threshold, the image is high quality enough that it really isn't benefiting from higher resolution. The original X100 can be had for around $500 these days, while the X100V is being sold used for over its original price. I would not hesitate to look at the older cameras. The main difference between the original X100 and the X100V is mostly that this camera is just a little more sluggish. The autofocus is slower, writing to the card is slower, menus are a little bit slower, the live view isn't as fast. But that honestly isn't a bad thing. It forces you into a slower, more methodical pace, similar to a film camera. If you're okay with slowing down and don't need to necessarily capture super fast action, I think it's a perfect compromise, especially since you can't even get X100Vs these days. this camera so special is its hybrid optical electronic viewfinder. It may seem like a gimmick to some, 
But to me, anything that changes up the way that we normally take images only helps the process and puts you in a different mindset for making images. I love the more analog feeling of this camera as it brings me back to when I started photography. It has such an interesting way of seeing the world that other cameras these days do not have. Seeing through an optical viewfinder, it's just one step closer to the way that photography started in the first place. An analog physical medium. Being forced to use a fixed 23mm lens makes you think about composition because you are locked into that frame. You need to think about it. You need to apply your brain to the problem of how do I make this image good looking? What happens if you move physically closer? Having this fixed lens gets rid of extraneous variables in the image making process and forces you to just take the picture. You don't need to worry about what lens you're using, you just take the image. If you want your images to have a similar feeling as mine, head over to gxace.com and pick up my Lightroom preset packs. Sega Sunset, Liminal Space, Visions, and Sodium Vaporwave. I think this is absolutely the perfect camera for beginners. Because it has all of the most important controls as physical dials on the camera, it's perfect for learning the ropes of photography. I couldn't disagree more with people saying that you need to have an interchangeable lens camera and multiple lens options to learn photography. You're just straight up wrong. A camera like this helps you focus on the things that are important to image making. Making an image. Limitation breeds creativity, and this camera is a physical embodiment of that concept. If you're coming from film, fatigued by the crazy expense of film these days, I think the X100 is a perfect camera to bridge the gap into digital. It gives you such a similar experience to shooting on film while giving you all the benefits of a digital camera. Mankind thought itself invincible and that our prosperity would never end. But as our production lines grinded to a halt, we were forced to make do with what we already had. Don't be afraid of using older technology.